What is up, me amigos? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day and are having fun playing Apex right now. If you guys haven't heard about me, then stick around and check out my other videos. While you're at it, hit that subscribe button and help out this fellow gamer by pressing the like button. Now, these controller settings are what made me reach Diamond each season. Who knows, I might be in Masters by the time this video is posted. Let's go to the firing range and show you the settings you need to get comfortable with before showing you the ultimate form for these settings in ALC. So now for these settings for this season, or let's just say the first split of season nine, it's like this. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm not using any ALC settings for this video because I'm still working on it. But what I'm using are the standard ones. So let's go to controller settings so right now I'm using stick layout default uh, tap to use and reload crouch hold I use I don't have a scuff for any other stuff well that rhyme well okay so I don't use a scuff controller I use a regular DualShock PS4 and I bought the what's it called the attachment the small one the official PS4 attachment so I have I have a program for crouch, so it's easier to hold. My aim, I hold it. If you toggle, let me see. If you toggle. Okay, how can you play if you have aim on toggle, honestly? Okay, so I have it on hold. Survival slot button. When I play rank, I have this on, but if I play pubs, I have it off so I can do this. Yeah. And my menu cursor speed it's all preference for me I prefer it like this sometimes I lower it sometimes I go max it just depends trigger dead zone always have it off or none I mean yeah if you want to you can try it but like for me my personal preference is off or none I keep on saying off anyway most people if you watch other controller settings video they're gonna say none because it's better I don't know I guess for look sensitivity, have it at 6. If you have it um, lower, it's okay. Don't go any lower than 3. 4 is like the least you can do. Uh, 5 is for most people. 6 is where you want it. 7, 8. If you're a Japanese player, then okay, go for it. But I'm just joking. But other than that, if it's 8, you must like really play controller your whole life because I. It's it's bearable, but it's not like consistent. So if you put seven, okay, you can do it, but not that not that good. Six, it's the sweet spot. Yeah, okay. Sometimes I'm not consistent, but you get what I'm saying. So like, if you get five. You hear your shots more, right? It's good. If you go four, better, right? You might be wondering, well, why are you not playing at four or five? Well, the reason is once you get higher lobbies or there's like more sweats and better player, if you're going solo, you don't have a team to play with. You're just like solo queuing. Then higher sense for looking is a lot better because controller players are more flexible with their movement. So you're gonna like have to track better. But if you want prefer playing lower, go ahead. But for me, from my personal experience, the players, uh, let me switch to mouse and keyboard real quick. They're like moving like this quickly, dodging, weaving, strafing. And it's kind of hard to like aim with the controller if you have low sense. So. It's better to like fast sense so you can like track them quickly or if you're like for instance going this way you shoot this person right here but there's someone to your left if you have sl slow controller you're gonna have to like really pull your joystick like really hard but if you have like a uh, high sense then it's gonna be easier to turn and just aim so for the aiming okay at four 
All right, leave it at four. Three, you have better control. And it's good, right? You're like, oh my goodness, this is so cracked, right? You might watch other videos. They're like, oh, this is the best for recoil. It might be true, but it's not for my kind of style. And if you're like a person who wants to be more aggressive and not just be passive in a support role, then the ADS-3 is not for you. Here, let me show you why. So, AS-3. For, for aiming down is good, right? But it limits to how you're going to be able to move your joystick once you aim down. So right here. Okay, perfect, right? Far away. Okay, perfect, right? But what happens if they start strafing also? If you get up close, you can't move, right? You lock in. But you won't be able to lock into someone else easily. So right here, oh, then too late, you're gonna get shot at. That's why I don't play on three. So I play on four, cause that way I can do faster. Five. Ooh, I can get more ammo. All right, five is not good for people who are not used to linear. If you are, then go ahead. You're a lot faster. Everything moves quicker. But if you're not used to the micro adjustments to the joystick, then don't do it. If you're like playing linear for a long time or if you adapt quickly and you want like, you know, super high sense, then all right. But if you want to stay consistent, 6-4 is the way. And always have it at small. If your joystick is super like drifty, <laughs> If it moves too much, then put it on large, but if your controller is okay or just new, small. Never none, because this, this is what happens. Even if you just bought it, it's going to be like this. And if it doesn't, bro, tell me where you get the controller, because that's amazing. But yeah, movement dead zone, small. I don't know why people put large. You guys are crazy. Inverted look, you guys are crazy again. Let me try. Okay, no, I can't do it. Vibration off. I don't know why you want it on unless you're one of those people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, okay, kids watching this do not listen to what, uh, to what I just said. Okay, so advanced looks controls. I'm gonna show you guys in the next video, but first, the reason why I don't want to show it is because I want you guys to get used to these settings first before I can show it so that you guys can feel comfortable and then once I show you the ALC settings you guys are going to be so good well you know practice and getting used to it I will be like oh my goodness these guys are cracked at Apex my guy Shee! so yeah so use 6-4 get used to it And tell me guys how you guys feel playing with these settings. Hopefully it's going to be a good experience. If you're new to linear, like maybe you tried it or maybe you haven't, it might get like hard to get used to. Some people might find it easier. That's okay. We all learn at different rates. Some people prefer low sense. But the ALC things that I want to show you guys, you need to play at these things that I'm showing you before you can try the ALC. Hope you guys enjoy my commentary for this video. I know it might not be the best, or at least not the worst also. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see some other type of settings videos, I'm all ears. I'm also trying to look at other people's settings and not saying copy them, but trying them out. Like for instance, uh, like nice wigs, mm, back off janks, crazy ratchets, calamities, all other controller players.
if you guys want a specific control player settings that you want me to try out I'll try them out and I'll put a video about it well hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one adios my friends